Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com with a fascinating subject today, why do we get sick in the winter time and not as much in the summer? The age-old theory was is that in the winter we were congregated together and windows closed in close quarters and we coughed and sneezed on each other and that's why we got sick. Turns out that today we wake up in an air-conditioned house, we get into an air-conditioned car, we drive to an air-conditioned office who oftentimes windows don't even open. We're indoors almost as much in the summertime as we are in the wintertime and in fact our buildings are much tighter and air sealed and get much less fresh air than they did a hundred years ago. I don't think that theory applies. Another theory or thought was that maybe it's being cold that makes you get a cold and they actually in World War II took soldiers and submerged them in cold water for various periods of time to see if they got sick more and turns out they didn't get sick any more than the control subject so being cold apparently does not cause you to get sick. Another theory is, and it has some plausibility is, is that maybe the cold, dry air damages your mucous membrane, so breathing in cold air makes your immune system less intact, and then when a virus lands on your mucous membranes, it gets you sick when in the summertime with moist, healthy mucous membranes, you would be able to fight that infection, and there's some possibility that that's correct. Another thought is, is that in the wintertime, the air is cold and dry and the lack of humidity may make the moisture droplets that carry the viruses float in the air longer letting you breathe them in and in the summertime they settle to the ground and you don't breathe them in. It may be that the viruses are more stable in a cooler environment so kind of like your refrigerator food stays uh, fresh longer, that the viruses survive outside of the body longer in a cool environment. Uh, this also is a plausible theory. My personal thought is, is that it may be vitamin D related because we have recent studies that say that vitamin D is good for immune system. It stimulates an, your immune response. Vitamin D is the sunshine vitamin, so in the summertime, your vitamin D levels are higher than in the wintertime, so maybe your immune system is healthier in the summer because of vitamin D. Uh, something that I found out I did not realize but adds plausibility to that theory is, is that at the equator, where it's never ever winter time, their cold and flu season is during monsoon season, so it's damp and rainy out, so the humidity in the air theory doesn't hold as much uh, credence because it's humid in the uh, monsoon season, so that should not be an impact. The viruses survive longer in a cool climate. It's 65 degrees. It's not 20 degrees at the tropics during monsoon season, so that takes some air out of that theory. But what is consistent is, is that monsoon season is cold and rainy and dark and damp and you don't have as much sunshine so people are indoors and their vitamin D levels are probably relatively lower as well. So of all the different theories, um, being indoors and in close contact, uh, being cold, breathing cold air, breathing dry air, viruses, survivability outside of the body, and vitamin D levels, I think based on those arguments the most plausible theory is is that vitamin D is the key to this and it may be as simple as taking a 2,000 to 5,000 unit vitamin D supplement in the winter to help you fight infections. So Dr. Costello, without the answer today, thanks.